Hello there, I'm Chai Marosu and you're watching videos. We begin with the stories. Demand for green building material increases for the construction of energy efficient building in Malaysia. Eco-friendly building materials are getting more popular with the increase of the numbers of the suppliers over the years. The government provides incentives such as tax income deduction to encourage the developers to construct more green building. At the same time, the supplier of green building material in Malaysia also initiate more innovations for multiple applications on the building. This leads to increasing acceptance of green building materials. According to the Rospiga and Dromedius, green building materials are composed of renewable resources and environmentally responsible because impacts are considered over the life of the products. The criteria of green building material have to meet are resource efficiency through reuse and recycle and indoor air quality through minimal chemical emissions. Energy efficiency, water conservation and affordability are also being considered in defining the green building materials. The material will be evaluated by green building index based on some points such as material renewability and pollution level on the production. GBI also would stop the production if the material found to be high energy consumption or cause pollution. Hey guys, so that is the news that informs about the green building material. So it is obvious that today's main topic is green building material. So I bet all of you already understand about it, right? So my name is Amisa Tanya Bentino Azwan. I am the main host for this podcast. Therefore, today, me and my respected colleague, representative of Building Survey students, are going to discuss while sharing with you in detail about the green building material. I hope it will be beneficial to all of you. Now, let's have our guests to introduce themselves. Hi, uh, my name is Noamira Amani. Hello, my name is Nur Izati. Hello, my name is Mama Ashraf Shami. Okay, let's casually discuss. Green building material, as you already knew that from the uh, from the news that has explained or anywhere else that you have ever heard about it, for me, I think it is kind of a solution in modernizing and upgrading our country's development in constructing a building that will give a good end result to everything. In a nutshell, green is always good to be used. I wonder what kind of material that normally used in order to make a building to become green. So I think uh, any of you can explain about it. How about you, Izati? Alright, how can we make our building green? The main way to make a building green is of course use green building material. So I will share with you guys some of the green building material. Firstly is wood. Wood is one of the most famous building material used around the world. But in the process of conversion of raw timber to wood bark and plant, most percentage of wood may get waste. This wastage can also be used to make structural parts like wall, board, door and others. The second one is bamboo. Bamboo is one of the most used multi-purpose and durable material used in construction. They can be used to construct frame or spot, wall and floor. They provide a good appearance of the structure. And then the third is slate roofing. Slate is naturally formed raw, which is used to make ties. Slate ties have high durability and they are used as roofing material. Uh, then we can use steel. Steel roof panel and shingle are highly durable and they can be recycled again and again. So these are the best choices for green roofing material. And I think the last one that I, that I have know is natural clay. Plastering of wall can be done using natural clay rather than other gypsum based plaster. Natural clay plaster with proper workmanship give a beautiful appearance to the interior. So what we have to do is we need to make this green building material more accessible or known within the construction business. Thank you for the explanation, Izati. Besides, I think you should also know about the guideline, right? 
Based on my knowledge, there are a few things that used to guide the green buildings. For example, standards that developed by professionals uh, by setting a minimum benchmark for the performance and focus heavily on the detailed specifications. Next is CUT, which is established by law as a mandatory of building requirements. It must contain a few items, for example, establish the type of occupancy. And then, these guidelines involve LEED, a short form for a leadership of leadership in energy and environmental design, and then BOMA BEST. Those are connected to the requirements of the green building. For example, water efficiency. The use of the renewable energy uh, technologies need to be evaluated and then need to minimize the mechanical and electrical system size by incorporating a passive solar that can help meet space conditions loop. Furthermore, several characteristics such as reuse and recycled content, zero or low toxicity must be evaluated too in selecting a sustainable construction material as it will provide a material efficiency. Lastly, uh, requirements in having a good water efficiency that involves a few methods such as use recirculating system for centralized hot water distribution and also use a water budget approach that schedules irrigations. Last but not least, uh, the guidelines that based on the selection criteria for it. First, all materials installed with a minimal VOC producing compound and those also must uh, inhibit the growth of the biological contaminants in the buildings. Secondly, the criteria that helps uh, that helps reduce energy consumption uh, in a building which maximize the energy efficiency. Then the affordability that can be considered when a building product life cycle costs are comparable to the conventional materials which within a project defined percentage of the overall budget. So that's my explanation for the guidelines. By the way, I think there are a few issues about the green building materials, right? How about Amira talk about it a little bit? And so here is the problems for green processes and technology. The first one is a uh, high implementing cost. The second one is lack of information. The third one is no non-alternative chemical or raw material inputs. The fourth one is no non-alternative process technology. The fifth A is uh, uncertainty about performance impacts. And the last one is lack of human resources and skills. Uh, so uh, the solutions that we can take is uh, the first one is the materials should be established in order responsible usage of natural resources and the second one is we must educate building establishment to cooperate these practices it do have issues right but somehow i think it still have a benefit from it right what do you think ashraf benefit green building material is low maintenance and operation cost green building incorporate the liquid construction because that ensure efficient use of resources such as water and energy for example by using task lighting strategy and a load of the light green building wastely reduce the amount of power used in lighting system this allow user to serve as much as a third of their water and energy bill two water efficiency green building allow for the use of alternative sources of water such as rainwater reducing water waste through the installation of plumbing filters that are efficient and reducing the strain on shared water resources by installing system that purify water and enable recycling 3 better healthy people would like in green building enjoy many health benefits because of the safety of material use in the construction of such building. For instance, eco-friendly construction companies avoid using plastic by products that have been found to release toxic material. And lastly, better environment. By reducing uses of energy sources that pollute the environment such as a school, Green building contribute to keeping the environment clean. 
In addition, by reducing the level of carbon oxide emitted to the atmosphere, they have to lessen the pace of climate change. I think we have come to the end. So let's end our podcast with a video of a method in a green building material. Many organizations are recognize the value of sustainable and green building method. No advance in material, technology and practice enable company to use environmentally friendly process that also lead to better overall efficiency. Here, there are top 4 sustainable building methods currently used in under development. Think IoT gives us facility manager access to the data that they did not previously have access to the small connected sensor can integrate with automated building system to improve the sustainability of operation. For example, IoT sensor can dynamically adjust the required ventilation and light level inside the building based on temperature, weather, and CO2 reading. Second is synthetic roof underlayment. The underlayment on roof is typically aspect-based, which uh, break down relatively quickly. Replacing the layer uh, is necessary to keep moisture out of the building interior. Synthetic roof underlayment offer the alternative that weight less and hold up the to the wear and tear of the exterior environment. The material root use uh, polymer that come from recycled scrap material. Third is thermoslate solar system. Thermoslate is the first solar slate roof uh, in the world that successfully utilize solar energy or renewable energy with almost no need special care. An innovative energy solution proved by Spain Chupa Group is perfect for all type of roof with a power structure, uh, all at once solve, solve the problem of aesthetic and the rehabilitation of historic monument. And the last one is grey water plumbing system. Grey water system reduces the facility need for fresh water as everything except for toilet stream can be processed for reuse. The one common use for this water include irrigation and supply toilet with water. There are basically two types of grey water system, that is gravity, manual system, and package system. Green building is much better product as compared to conventional home. It's a good for your pocketbook, through much lower utility bill. Good for your employers in healthy home, safe on medical bills, and seek live a new life with the knowledge that you are helping. Many building material. Energy sources as it to lessen what impact upon the environment. Educating, making environmentally product more readily accessible and reliable, and by providing government. Incentives, it is possible to encourage more people to adopt the green building And all of the benefits they can allow